Let me tell you about the power of Peppa. A few years ago, I traveled to China and seemed like wherever I went, Peppa followed. From appearing in watches to fashions to toys to phone cases, Peppa was a big deal. This all got me in one part to catch up. At the first airing in 2015, Peppa Pig didn't gain this much popularity until 2018, where she began to gain influence on not only kids, but also adults. She was beginning to be used to represent the quote unquote people of society, which basically meant gangster. This was becoming a whole subculture with adults getting tattoos of Peppa and fashion being made that was based off the show. It became so big that it was brought to the Chinese government's attention, so they banned Peppa Pig because she quote unquote promoted gangster attitudes. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. They removed hundreds of thousands of videos on Chinese social media, took down any hashtags relating to it. Well, like all trends, this movement soon died and after three years, it isn't really a topic anymore. Anyways, if you see us on a recommended page, please drop a like or subscribe. I'd really like to hit 100 subscribers, so your subscription would really help. But for more on our channel trip, we have uploaded a four episode series on this channel. Anyways, have a good day and bye bye.